So first, we're gonna go ahead and disconnect this battery. Alright gang, so we're gonna disconnect our, our wire coming from our pedal, our cable, uh, throughout the body. We're gonna go ahead and on, unplug our map sensor. Throughout the body connectors. So look, I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect this alternator connector. Right here. We got a constant hot 12 volt supply feeding our alternator. We're gonna disconnect them too. All right, gang. So we're gonna disconnect our constant 12 volt feeding our alternator. Put our screw back on that. So we know where that go. And while we're right here, pop these connectors off for the call packs and your fuel injectors. And I believe there's a color, color ordering for which um, injector go at which location and for the call packs as well. Vacuum canister and vacuum line is for your breach. You need this to tie into your intake when you're doing the LS swap. I didn't connect it. When I first did the swap, I didn't have no brakes, but you need that vacuum on a G-Body style brake system. All right, so we got all our injectors loose. Y'all already see, it ain't about nothing. You just gotta do it. All right. We're on an iPhone 8 today too. The video about to start coming out clear. If it ain't clear enough, I might have to get the 11. You gotta invest in yourself. So look, we done got the harness off the um, driver's side of the engine. Now, we're going to disconnect this ground wire at the back of the head, the original spot where it comes. So we then disconnect it on the passenger side, call packs and fuel ejectors. We're gonna throw him over there. Right, what else I got coming over? Alright gang, so we then disconnect another 12 volt constant off our motor. We're gonna put this wire nut back on our starter. I said a wire nut. Holes for the water pump, we're gonna put this out. E. Brooks in the building, me and Jen, AP.
pull this hose off our water pump. We might have a little water come out. Oh, we got a lot of water come out. We ain't tripping though. It's just water. It's just water. Let me see. Y'all see we got the ground right there on the back side of the head. I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect that. All right, gang, so y'all see we got the two ground wires. We had it on a 15 millimeter bolt to the back of the head. We're gonna put that head, head bolt back so we know where that's going at. Down that line tight. There we go. All right. So we then disconnected our fuel lines from our fuel filter. And our return line. Got one more connector back here. I believe this is the cam position sensor. Right here. We're gonna disconnect him. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Huh? That's my birthday present. Ah. I feel it saying ah. Come on, you should be ready now. Hold on. Sorry to me. Don't go away from oh I see I got one more gang gang. I'm gonna move too fast. Gang, gang. You want something on the stove? What you about to go to the stove? Give me a um, give me a Bud Light Platinum. Y'all see we didn't got the intake on, trunk style, with the short snout. You hear me? Y'all see them seven ninety nine heels on there looking good. We ain't playing, man. It's about progress. Gotta get it done. You hear me?
All right, gang. So this is all the wire that goes to the left side. It's your solenoid wire. This here was your, um, your oil pressure sensor. And this one here is your O2 sensor. Sensors. Got the back one, we got our front one. We're gonna pull out and play. Oh, when you're leaving, we gotta walk these blocks. We gotta walk people. Gang, gang. Pulling that empty cover off, man. Pulling that out. Oh, you stuck pretty good. Y'all see it? You hear me? We got the plate up. Now, we're gonna go ahead on and install our dirty dingo lift plate. Y'all see the cam? Wipe all of this up. Now, we're gonna put our plate on there, our lift plate. Okay. Thank you. 